Hello everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the security camera, the Mabview. It is model Q5. We're going to go over the pros, the cons of the camera, and the app. This is an honest review, and I will give my honest opinion on anything I like or dislike or anything that can be approved upon that's going to be covered in this video. So let's get this opened up. Let's see what it comes with. Then we're going to check out some of the features. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Mubview, M-U-B-V-I-E-W, wireless spotlight security camera. This is an indoor and outdoor camera. It's again, the model Q5. It has person motion detection. It has an activity zone. It is 2K resolution. IP66 waterproof because again it is outdoors or indoors. It has color night vision and it's multi user sharing. You can share this with another person in your household or you can share the video clips that you record with this. Now let's go ahead and open this up. I have had this out. I have done some extensive testing with this camera. For the past three days we have a handbook here it tells you everything you need to know it is very easy to read there's your download for the apps and it downloaded fine i had no trouble it is for apple or android you have your base you have usb for charging and you also have your hardware if you want to mount this on a wall outside on a wall and we have the unit here it is very small but then again it's not much smaller than the cameras the security cameras I have on the house underneath here on the bottom I have to use something because this is in there tight because again it's waterproof there's your power button there's your DC 5 volt for your USB charging cable and this is the slot for your SD card I have an SD card in it right now and to put this on the base you just screw it on just like you're screwing a camera onto a tripod it will set in multiple positions also, if you want to mount this upside down, it does have an option in the app for screen flip. So that way, if you want this, if you want to hang this upside down outside or in a room off the ceiling, you can do so and it will flip the image for you. We'll read some of the features to you here. The resolution is 2K, which is 2304 by 1269p. That's good. And it looks like it to me. We'll get into some of the footage you'll see that I've taken after dark and during the daytime. It's a very clear, noticeable picture. Uh, it is 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and the motion detection is 55 feet. This also has cloud storage, which what I like about it is it comes with a card slot. So you don't have to pay for a monthly or a yearly subscription you can use your memory card. But it is nice to know that you can also get a cloud service. It does have two-way talk, remote viewing. The viewing angle is 120 degrees. I'd like to see that more of 140 degrees. I'd like to see it a little bit more, but we'll get into the price. But the, for the price, it's very good. And the camera images I, in my book are, are excellent for a security camera. It does have night vision which is spotlight color night vision or black and white. It does have a 5200 milliamp rechargeable battery. They say it's, uh, it, it's good from two to five months, depending, guys. That depends on how much you're using your night vision uh, because it does have infrared lights in it. It depends on how much motion you're picking up. All that comes into play. I started testing this at 95% on battery. I've tested it for three days it's been on constantly it's been out back and it's been out front 
and so far it's down to like 90 percent i have been testing i've been walking in front of it i've tested at night time and the operating temperature is negative 4 fahrenheit to 140 degrees fahrenheit this also has an alarm a setup for this device is fairly straightforward if you've ever set up any kind of camera like this before there's you won't have any problems at all i didn't have any problems i have set these up before if you do not know how to set one of these up they also have customer service you can call you can email i did have to email them on the app for an issue i was having and they did email me back in a timely manner with some instructions as to how to fix the issue and that did help it did work also what i wanted to mention it also has a lifetime service guarantee now this company has sent this to me to review and make a video on and that's what i'm going to do and it's going to be an honest review so what we're going to do is right here on the bottom we're going to go ahead push that button and hold it and you'll hear it click, you'll see a light come on, and we're ready to go. And once the blue light's on, you know everything's going according to plan. So let's go ahead and you just tighten this up just like you would, like I said, a camera on a tripod. Let's see what we're seeing in the app. Okay, we just turned it on. It did pick us up. We have an alert here. We're going to click on the alert. And this is what we are seeing right here. This was us turning it on. You can set the detection sensitivity, the motion detection. You can set your power saving mode, performance mode, which is what we have it on here. You've got a custom mode there. And you've got 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds of recording. And you have an alarm interval. You can change that for 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Okay, so right in the center of the camera is the light. I'm going to hit the light button which is right there. There's the light. Hit the light button again and it's off. Here's the alarm. I'm going to show you some clips now of the outside backyard, after dark, front yard, and after dark and I'll show you the difference between uh, color night vision and black and white night vision. In this clip, if you look at the bottom of the shed in the background, you'll see that raccoon coming around the corner walking in front of the shed. I measured the distance from the camera to the shed. It is 61 feet. So the 55 foot motion detection range is accurate. It also has intelligent so in other words if you have it on intelligent it will be black and white night vision until it gets some light if it has some light then it'll go into color all right so let's talk about some of the things I like about this I like it that it is small and it's not a lot smaller than my regular security cameras I like that it is waterproof I like that it's easy to use I like the way the base is set up I do like that it picks up the Wi-Fi very easy. If you have an RV, camper, you can take this with you. It will also hotspot off your phone, which makes it nice for us when we go camping. We can set it up, hotspot this off of our phone, and we can get notified of any wildlife that might be around us, catch some cool pictures, also to let us know if anyone's around our campsite. Now some of the cons. The app needs a little work. It is user friendly to a certain extent. Some of the menu features you have to go into other features to find. It is a little laggy at times. It says three seconds. Sometimes it took five minutes to send me a notification. I don't think that's in the camera. I think that is in the app. The SD card and where you charge it at is underneath the base. That is rubber and it is waterproof. I would have liked to seen it maybe on the side. So easier access and then you wouldn't have to take this down every time you wanted to charge it or change your SD card. 
but the app could use a little improvement but can't we all there's there's always room for improvement on anything there's, overall do i think this is a good camera yes i do i really like the camera it is by far better than any of the other cheap security cameras that are on the market i've tried the ones that you can turn and pan up and down those don't work because as it's turning if it's up against the wall it thinks the wall is moving and tries to follow it i don't have this problem with this would i trust it with a million dollar a year business no no i wouldn't i wouldn't trust my own cameras my own security cameras for something like that but for at home to watch for your animals just to kind of put outside and, and see what's happening around you maybe keep an eye on your children if they're out in the yard playing it's perfect for that does it work great for a baby monitor i don't have a baby but i don't see why not i don't see why it wouldn't work great for a baby monitor all in all i would give this a four out of five because i do think the app could be improved is it as good as google nest or ring doorbell no it's not but with a little tweaking from the app I think this could be every bit as good as the Ring doorbell or the Nest camera. But then you're talking, you're comparing apples to oranges. You know, those are like $200 cameras and there's no SD card. You have to have some kind of service to save your stuff. You don't have to have service to watch what's going on, but you have to have service to record anything. This you do not. You can put a memory card in there and you're good to go. For the price, at the time of this filming, this is $46.99 on Amazon. I think it's well worth the money. Would I recommend it? Sure, I, I would recommend it. I just hope they do some more tweaking on the app, and I think over time, I think they will do that, and I think this can be perfected from a great product to a phenomenal product. So yes, I for the, for the money, I, I would recommend this also that's a very, very fair price for this, for everything it does, everything you get, very fair. It's affordable for most people. Some people can't afford the higher end cameras, like a regular security system. Some people can't afford this. But when it comes to security, uh, you know, what are you willing to pay to keep your home, your family, uh, your animals safe? Um, it's a very good investment. The, the SD card is a good selling point on this because you don't have to pay extra for a service to record from. So all in all, four out of five stars. Yes, I do recommend it. Like I said, this is an honest review. And when I review something, I will give my honest opinions. If I think something's junk, I will say it's junk. I do not think this is junk at all. There's weight to it battery life awesome battery life um, like i said depending on how much movement you're picking up what you're recording how many times your light comes on or you use the light when you're using night vision my sony x53 the one i'm filming with right now uh, you use night vision it's going to use a lot more battery power because of the infrared lights inside it might even last longer because most people at night they're not moving around so you're looking at you know, anywhere from 8 to 12 hours, it's not picking up anything. It's going to last you a lot longer. So, yes, I do recommend it. Four out of five stars. And I want to thank the company for giving me the opportunity to review this camera. I really appreciate it. And that's all I've got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.